Good morning, I'm Mary Ellen and I am back. I know it has been a while. The last video I uploaded was December the 8th and it has just been kind of interesting around here. Everything's going okay, but it seems like we're doing a lot of hurry up and waiting and I'll get into that later. But today I want to talk about, I want to talk about a few things that have been really, really helpful to me and kind of one thing really put my mind at ease. I had mentioned before that I had recently gotten a pacemaker. I am as healthy as I can be, except I don't have a real good electrical system in my heart. It's not good to discuss medical conditions in the comment section because it just isn't good practice at all. I knew I needed to get some sort of a medical alert ID, a bracelet, a necklace, because I'm on three things that are really, really important. If I would ever go into an emergency room unconscious, it's a pacemaker, the medication Ticacin, and I'll write it in up here, and also Eliquis, it's a blood thinner. So those three things are just super important for any healthcare provider to know because there are so many things you can't take if you're on Ticacin, and of course, a blood thinner, you need to know about that. Well, I looked, I've been looking for a while, and after the pacemaker, I knew I had to do it. Well, I found something that was probably around $10 that I love, and I'm gonna show you how where I have it, but I'm not gonna show you up close. I have it on my watch, and I have it right here, and I'm gonna take it off and show it to you. It slides on your watch like this, and it's this small. It's very, very small. And it has on mine, and I'll put a picture of what they have. I ordered this from Etsy. It has the medical symbol. It has my name. It has pacemaker, Tikason, Eloquist, my son Jeremy and his phone number, my daughter Gretchen and her phone number, and the hospital that I go to because I also have the town. Well, I thought, oh my gosh, the only thing I did not do is add my birth date. And I'll tell you why I don't have Jim in a little bit and Jim's doing okay. But it is not obvious. No one can read it when it's on my watch. This is my favorite watch band that clips on my iWatch. It will go here, but I ordered a second one with my birth date because I didn't want to lose it. So I'm not sure how well it'll stay. But if anybody is in the need for a medical ID, I recommend it. I've probably had it two months, and it, it and I wear my watch every day and at night, and all the littering's still there. It gives me peace of mind knowing that if I'm not able to tell somebody what's going on with me, they will find this because they would take my watch off. So I was very happy to get this. I'll put a link to what the one I got, and it. When I ordered it the first time and I ordered it the second time, it said there were just limited numbers, like only eight left, and all, but I got them both. So there's probably a ton of other people that make them, but um, I was really, really happy with it. I only have two other things I wanna talk about, and the next one they call a garden stool, and here it is, right here. It opens up very easily, just like this. And you can use it like this and kneel on it. And it has padding on either side. I'll put a picture of it in there. Or you can use it. This is the reason, the main reason I got it was because of the stool. There are so many times I want to clean something out and I just kind of like to have a chair when I sit down and go through things. And I thought, man, that would be handy. And it would also be handy. There are some, I have hardwood all downstairs with the exception of my bedroom. And there's some projects I do when I'm on the floor, and I thought, man, that would be so comfortable to be able to kneel down on it. And it didn't hurt that it had the little handrails. But I'll tell you the biggest thing that it has helped, and it was worth it. Okay, I gotta talk about Jim. The, big, the, the biggest thing that it helped was it helped Jim. I'm gonna give you a little bit of history with Jim, and if you're not interested, I will put a time stamp up here when I quit talking about it. In 2018, he was diagnosed with severe spinal stenosis. He'd experienced back pain for years. Well, at the time, he really didn't know what he wanted to do about it. The 
surgeon said, well, your hips don't look good. He said, I can't swear that the pain's coming from your spinal stenosis, but it is severe. Well, Jim didn't do anything about it then. And then in 2021, he decided, well, I need, I need to do something because he kept getting worse. Well, he went back to the Brain Spine Institute. They took another MRI and x-rays and the surgeon just said, you've got to get your hips done before we can do anything. So in 2022, Jim had a left hip replacement in April, and then in October, he had the right hip. And he did great, he did absolutely great. I couldn't believe how well. The last one, we came home on the same day. Well, in about September of 2023, he started having a lot of trouble getting around. And first he didn't know what it was, he. He would fall and had a lot of trouble getting up. So we made an appointment with the Brain Spine Institute again, but we couldn't get in until December. So, so Jim made it around the house using his walker, just going where he had to go, you know, to the bathroom. Sometimes he'd get up and get a cup of coffee, but he was really limiting. And with my encouragement, encouragement he was limiting his steps because Every time he stepped, it was another chance for a fall. And one day he got down and he couldn't get up. And I couldn't help him get up. I'd had the, I'll tell you what it was, I had the pacemaker and I had a 10 pound limit on this arm. And I was trying with everything to get a help him using my right arm, but he could not put his hands and get the strength to lift himself up. He hasn't fallen in several weeks, but the last time he fell, and it's not like a hard fall. He'll just kind of go down, be standing and go down because the nerves of his legs are really affected. Well, I went and I got this and I stood on one side of it and put my foot. And because it was so close to his body, he was able to lift himself up and I could put a chair underneath him. And it was worth every cent. I don't remember how much this was, but I love it, and I, I've i used it so many times for just various things. Of course, it's made to work outside in the garden, but if you wanted to use it in the house and you didn't want it to slip, you'd need to put some rubber things on it, but I like it the way it is. But this has been wonderful. I bought it to help me, and it has ended up helping Jim. Jim recently had his MRIs and his x-rays, and his surgeon has three to compare. He has 2018, 2021, and 2024. So we will have an appointment and see what the surgeon says. He is unable to go down any steps. So the only time Jim leaves the house is to go to a doctor's appointment. And that is with the help of three other people to get him down the steps and in the car. So we're just hoping and praying that everything works out really well. I have a feeling that they will be able to help Jim. And I don't know if I'll talk about it in another video, but right underneath the video, I always write something like what I'm gonna be doing. And I'll, I'll let you know then when I know something. And the last item is a purse. And I thought I had the right purse for everything. Well, I don't have the right purse for what I need. And that is doctor's appointments, hospital visits, something that I could put a bag into that had everything I needed. If I needed to spend the night somewhere, I always have a bag, a Ziploc bag that has my today's medicine, my tomorrow's medicine. It has several things that I would need if I needed to spend the night in the hospital. And I didn't have room in the other purse, the Dooney and Burke that I liked really well. And it wasn't as comfortable that the strap was thin. I shopped on, I looked for a, or I wanted leather. I just always want leather purses because, because if you take good care of them, they will last forever. I always stuff mine and I don't have to worry about the lack of humidity when you live in Southern Illinois. Nothing really dries out that much. So I just put in the search at the very top of the page, real leather organized handbag is what I put down. Well, the first purse that came up, I ordered, and I'll put a picture of it in here, and I absolutely loved it, but it wasn't comfortable. It, it hung way too low, and it did not have any pliability to it. It was hard leather, but I did love the looks of it. So I ordered that from QVC, 
and I sent it back. And I don't mind paying $6 or whatever it is to send something back because I couldn't drive anywhere, anywhere where I could buy a leather purse for $6. I figured that out a long time ago and you know I don't like to shop. So I kept searching and a QVC came up again and I don't even know the name of this handbag. I will type it in and I'll link it below, but here it is right here. It has the light lining, I like that. A pocket here, a pocket here. Large opening in the middle with two slip pockets, large ones and a zip one. In the back, there's a pocket, a nice big one. And on the sides, there's zippers. And I cut this one short because this one has the crossbody strap in here because I like to carry it this way. I like to carry it on my shoulder and I like the thickness of it. It's comfortable, it's pliable, it has everything that I need and that I carry for Jim with comfort. And then I can also slip that bag in here. I've already got it just the way I need it. So I wanted to share that with you I know a lot of people think, think it's odd because I only buy cruelty-free makeup, but when it comes to shoes and handbags, I buy leather. My mother taught me that from little up, you know, that it'll last, and, and like I have flat feet, and she'd say, you can't wear shoes that aren't leather because you're, it needs to conform to your foot, and you need an arch support. I oh, never could wear flip-flops in the summer unless I was at a pool. And today I have on lipstick, mascara, navy eyeliner, uh, brow freeze on my brows, and concealer. And I'll talk about that in one of my upcoming videos. It's the first time I've found a concealer I like, probably in the last five years. I have quite a few videos I want to film. I've already know what I want to talk about. It's just I don't know for sure when I'm going to be putting them up. I have been watching videos from my friends. I've been giving the thumbs up. Sometimes I'll play them a second time and walk away just because I want to support, but I just am overwhelmed with everything, and I'm really not good about even writing a sentence, and, and I apologize. I really do. A lot of you have really, Jan especially, she is not a new viewer anymore, but she started at my first video and she has watched him all the way up. I think she said six or seven years ago and I've been doing YouTube videos for 10 years. So Jan's helping keeping me relevant because you know, if you don't upload, YouTube does not show your videos to other people. And when they show the videos as a suggested video, you have more opportunities for somebody to click on. But it is all good. Thank you for hanging in there with me. I appreciate you more than you'll ever know. And I will see you in my next video. Take care. And today I, well, I have, so what my problem, okay, my goodness, it's, I, it's mm, but um, I just feel like in 2018, if you're not interested, okay, know what the newest, it's been, uh, 